Let's move on now to the third main topic today. And our third main topic today comes to us from Santiago uh, Rusalat Vespa, who writes, Hey, John, hope you're having a great day. I am having a great day, Santiago. Thank you so much for asking. I just heard that the Lord of the Rings show cost $1 billion for Amazon, $250 million for the rights, and $750 million to make it. What the F? I get the rights part, but I mean, got Game of Thrones spent around that much on eight seasons. I know I'm excited as hell, but are most people? Anyway, thank you for your incredible work and absolutely adore the podcast. It's so good. Well, thank you so much for that, Santiago. And yep, it's a big number. Now, we've been talking about the fact they announced a long time ago that Amazon is moving forward with developing a Lord of the Rings series. We now know it's going to be set in the second age, which is the age uh, before the events of Lord of the Rings. Of course, the beginning of Lord of the Rings, when they show the armies of elves and men marching and defeating Sauron, that was the end of the second age. This show is going to take place in that second age. And I'm very excited for it. And Amazon has decided to go no holds barred on this. They are going hardcore, full throttle, and sparing no expense. Now, we often talk about how I like to see studios show some confidence in the properties that they're developing. Amazon has just played the ultimate card because you put your money where your mouth is. Amazon's putting their money where their mouth is. By putting together $750 million just to do the show, not including the $250 million they pay just for the rights, for a $1 billion investment for a season of television. That's putting your money where your mouth is. That is Amazon saying, we believe in this property. We believe this will be huge. We believe people will love this. Now, if something like this was a movie, could it possibly make its money back? No, it'd be, it wouldn't make its money back. It just couldn't. But as a series for Amazon Prime, remember, they have a multi-layered strategy because they want this series to be kind of like a flare shot up in the night sky to attract more people say, hey folks, we know you got your Hulu, we know you got your Netflix, and yeah, Disney Plus is coming and that looks great. But Amazon Prime is something you should have too. It is gonna be the home of the show. That's what they're hoping. They're hoping Amazon is going to be, that this Lord of the Rings series is gonna be the show that people need to flock and watch. They're hoping, like a lot of other studios, that this is going to be the next Game of Thrones. We know that you know, uh, Netflix is trying to make The Witcher. We've got a Halo series coming. we got this Lord of the Rings. Everybody's scrambling right now to make the next Game of Thrones. What is going to be the next THE TV show to watch? Amazon seems to think it's Lord of the Rings. And so they're playing a long game on this. They're not just looking to get a lot of people to watch Lord of the Rings. They're looking to motivate, over time, more and more people to come and subscribe to the channel and that hopefully in the long term that this investment will pay off. It's almost equally as much of a marketing investment as it is a production investment when you really think about it. So depending on how many episodes this, this season will be, I'm guessing it's going to be about 12 episodes. So you're talking about $70 million an episode roughly, maybe a little bit less than that. You're talking between 65 and $70 million an episode. That is a huge budget. That is saying we are going full-blown, highest quality, movie quality with every single minute of show that we shoot. And I get why they're, why they're doing it. Because again, it's about the long game. It's not like a movie release where we've got this short, finite window to make all the money that we're gonna make. This is a long term. This is a show that can continue generating benefit for Amazon Prime for five, six, seven, eight years to come by putting this type of an investment into it right now. So I get it, but there's one catch. What if the show sucks? <laughs> because you can look at a screenplay and think this is the greatest thing ever, kind of like the new Tom Holland, Daisy Ridley movie, Chaos Walking. I'm sure when they look at the screenplay, they're like, this is gonna be a great movie. But it's not until they shot it and started to edit it together that they realized, oh, this movie's a bloody mess. What are we gonna do? And as much as I know Amazon believes in this Lord of the Rings property, the big catch here, of course, is that this has got to be good. It's got to be better than good. It's got to be great. 
It doesn't have to be as good as the Lord of the Rings movies themselves, but it's got to be great. If you're going to invest this type of money and you're going to hope you're going to get that type of a turnout for it and you're going to hope that this show will be the firing point to get a lot of people who are on the fence to sign up and subscribe to Amazon Prime, you better hope this thing is damn good. It's got to be damn good. They seem to think it will be, so they're writing the checks and they're putting their money where their mouth is. Let's see how it turns out. And I'll tell you what, I'm excited about this. I've been excited about the idea of it for a long time. Seeing what type of investment they're making in it tells me they're confident. That gets me even more excited. But the proof is in the pudding, as they say, my friends. Let's see if this show actually works out to be any good. All right. What do you think about the Lord of the Rings thing? Do you think it's insane what they're spending? Are you not surprised? Jump down in the comments section below and let me know what you think.